Hi Bromies, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards and y'all today we have a release from Pick Event Studios. I am so excited to show you guys what is all included in this release. Y'all, we are taking you to the paradise of oceans and seas and all that stuff all the way back. You're not even going to have to leave your house for vacation this year because it's all being brought to you. Uh, before we get started looking at all the products, which I am super excited to show you, uh, just a few things. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel so that you can see some other videos that I come out with and reviews and all kinds of projects that I do. Secondly, click that notification bell so that you know a new video is coming out. Um, also, if you're a subscriber already and you've been watching me for a couple years, you're amazing. You're awesome. Tell a friend. All right, so let's go ahead and get started looking at some of the stuff in the box or in this release. I believe I pretty much have everything uh, that uh, came out in this release, so I'm super excited to show it to you. So let's look down at the desk and see what we have going on here. Okay, so the first thing we have is this adorable little stamp set of this little girl with a little flamingo floaty. It's so cute. It's called Dear Summer Loving. Really cute. Has some nice sentiments. Life is simply better with you. You make summer a blast. Life is a beautiful thing. And sun fun, here we come. Really cute with the little fishies and the rocks and stuff. Adorable. And it does come with some uh, coordinating dies. Up next, we have some sentiments here. We have the sea is calling for us. Happiness comes in waves. Not all stars belong to the sky. Every seashell has a story. Waves can put the heart at ease. Ocean is my favorite color. The ocean is full of magic. Find some and dance to the rhythm of the sea. Really great sentiments for uh, cards, especially if they're ocean themed, summer themed. Really great. And there are coordinating dies that come with this stamp set. Look at these little adorable seahorses. So cute. It's called Seahorses of the Sea. Uh, they do have some sentiments. Love is here. The sound of the sea helps tides rise. You have always been my anchor in a sea of doubt. She who smells of the sea is always free. And you are the unique creature I have always sought. Really cute uh, seahorses here. I love that. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. I love that they're facing different directions so that you can uh, either have them on their own or make them as a, a couple or friends or whatever the case may be. And then there's also coordinating dies to go with that as well. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, so cute. I love me a turtle. I love me a family of turtles. So dang cute. I wonder what a family of turtles is called. Hmm. I have to look that up. Anyway, really adorable. This stamp set is called a Sea, Tur sea Turtles Journal Journey. Um, the sentiment says, love the song of life. I found you. Feel the sun. Feel the sea. Feel the breeze. Believe it to be. Wishing you the best on your journey. The sea reminds me of our tears. The salt in both is meant to heal. Sky above, sand below, peace within. Really great sentiments. I really like these. Uh, adorable turtles would be great. Watercolor, copic coloring, or alcohol markers. And then, of course, coordinating dyes. Oh my god, even cuter! You Octopi My Thoughts. Really cute octopus. But anyway, inking of you, you Octopi My Thoughts. Thank you for an ocean of kindness. Need a hand. Really cute. Love the little uh, pieces that adorn it. Really great. And it does come with uh, matching dyes. Up next, we have the Larrying Flora Oversized Tropical Ferns and Leaf Dyes. Really enjoy these. These would be great on their own just to make like a cluster. Uh, really great. I already have an idea that I'm going to make with these. But I also love this one because you can make this into a heart. I think that's freaking adorable. We have the Layering Flora Oversize Ornamental Grass Dye. I'm going to flip it around this way so you guys can see it. Really nice. Takes up a lot of space on a card. I think this would look really great. Up next, we have Find Me By The Sea. We have these big letters here that spell C, and then Find Me By The. 
Y'all, this might be one of my favorite ones. I All of them are my favorite, but I really like this one. It's the Laring Flora Oversized Tropical Leaf Dye. I really like this, and I cannot wait to use this on a card. I wonder how big that is. Let's... It looks like it takes up... It takes up a whole card, you guys. A whole font of a card. That's awesome. All right, up next we have a 6x6 six six stamp set. It looks really great. All these individual pieces. We have seashells, fish, starfish, turtles, all kinds of things here. Looks great. It's called Tranquil Seas. Really pretty. And then we do have a stencil here. This is called ocean waves really great stencil six by eight so you can get different uh size cards here really great stencil and then up next we have some sentiments this is swanky sentiments salutations we have hello welcome hi my dear friend have a great day greetings and hello there and there are coordinating dies and then last but not least in stamps and dies we have the mom and dad the best Really great um, sentiment set. I really love how these are like mixed fonts. Really like that. All right, what should I show next, you guys? I think next I am going to show the card fronts. We have Coral Reef, fabulously glossy A2 card fronts. So let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. I know you guys love for me to open these up and show them all to you, so I'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Ooh, very colorful. Looks like there's two of each design, or four of each design, it looks like. Yep. So we have that. We have four of these. Really nice. And then four of these. Love those colors. Super, super nice. Up next, we have beach combing. I can already tell I'm going to like these. The colors are my jam. Alrighty, wow. Those are really pretty. Looks like we have four of these. Love the pastelish, like beachy colors. And four of these. And then four of these. And then last we have Magical Seas. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that. And we have these. Love these colors. So pretty. Wow. Really nice. And again, that's Magical Seas. Alrighty, now let's get to the 8.5 by 11, which this looks the same as the smaller versions. So let's get this pulled out. Let's get a little bit wider here so we can get the full thing here. There we go. Alrighty, so it looks like we get two of each. So we have this one. So pretty. There we go. And then we have these two. And then these two. Really nice. Up next we have Coral to Aqua to Turquoise Ombre. Ooh, I can tell that's pretty already. Oh, look at that right there, y'all. That is nice. Okay, and these are tone... This one is toner friendly, so you can use this on... Um, you can use this on um, foil. Really pretty colors, you guys. Look at that. Wow. Those are really, really nice. 
All righty, and then last but not least, we have Ocean Blues Breeze Blues. And these are also foilable. It's a very nice color, an ombre situation there too. All righty, what's the next? Oh, you guys, let's, here we go. Y'all know we love us some paper pouncers. We have some new colors here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see these guys. We have ocean blues and ocean greens. Check those out. Very pretty. Just calling any ocean person's name is that's what these colors are here for. So love these guys. Not for sure if they'll come in the miniatures yet, but we shall see. But so far, these are the regular size ones. All righty, let's get into some new paper glazes. All right, first up, we have Paper Glaze Glass. This is a new medium. It's kind of like a shiny situation here. Um, I, I'm probably gonna do a live to show you guys what this looks like as we're um, gonna swatch these out. But this one is called Sea Glass Blue. We'll open that up. Woo, that is beautiful. Love that. It's like a robin's egg blue. And then we also have paper glaze glass. This is sea glass green. Love that muted green. That's really, really pretty. I love that. And then last we have sea glass coral. I love that like subtle pink salmon-y color. I just really, really love that. Maybe we can zoom in just a little more so we can see these. Let me check that out. So pretty. And it's super shiny. So I think when it dries, it's kind of like a shiny look. Let me bring in the two other colors again so you can see them up closer. Check that out. That's the blue. And then this one's the green. Love that color. Told you guys we're bringing the ocean to you this month. And then up next we have the Paper Glaze Velvet. This is the Ocean Odyssey sampler set. Look at that. Look at these colors. Let's go ahead and open this up. Take a look at them. Y'all, I don't know about you all, but I love me a one ounce jar. Like the best. I think this is the best size for um, paste and stuff. But this is Cream Puff. Ooh, it's pretty. Really pretty. And then we have Tropical Cocktail. Ooh, yes. Love that. And then we have Clementine Preserves. Ooh, more like a salmon-y color. Really pretty. Yes, I love it. All right, we're coming towards the end. We have a new watercolor splatter, paper splatter. This is Liquid Yellow Sunshine. I think the name pretty much tells you what it is. It's really, really bright and yellow. Really nice. Then we have some new sequin sets. There we go. This is Footprints in the Sand. And they have these so you can get them in the little compacts or you can get them in the bags. I prefer mine in bags because I have things to put these in already. So that's why I get them in the bags. And you can choose that option on the website. Um, so it's great for someone that has storage, um, a storage solution for this kind of thing already. So you don't have to like waste plastic or anything like that. Up next we have 
Be My Friend. Pretty. It's got some yellow and some gold and black and white. Really nice. We have a bird's feather. It's got some purples and blues and they do have little itty bitty feathers. I don't know if you could see that, if it'll zoom in or not. There you go. That little feather right there. So cute. Check that out. The next one we have is called Plant Wear Bloom. See if I can get this to. There we go. We have Tropical Breeze. It's got some like peach, coral, teals, greens, some gold. Really pretty. This one's called Island Blue. That one's like really nice, you guys. It's got like... Really pretty. It's got some subtle green, yellow, clear, some like purplish blue situation going on. And then we have seashells which has a bunch of she she seashells in them. Check that out. Got some clear, some round stuff in there. Really pretty. Purple and green shells. And then last but not least, we have colors of flowers. And some purples and yellows and greens. Kind of reminds me of a mute, muted Mardi Gras kind of color situation. And then you guys, last but not least, I think this is probably one of my most favorite things. And it is a rainbow desk trivet. So it's just something that you place on your desk that you can put stuff on. Let's open it. And it's like a silicone mat and you just kind of stick it to your desk and you know, you could probably put your paper glaze on there so it doesn't move. Like, it's kind of hard to move off. You know, you could probably sit your phone on there if you want to do that. Um, paper pouncers you could probably put on there. All kinds of stuff. It's super cute. If you have a glass mat, it won't move. But I really like this. It makes me happy, and I can't wait to keep it on my desk so that I could just be happy all the time. So, yeah, very pretty. I really like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing all the great products that are being released this month by Pick and Fence Studios. Make sure that you click the link down in the description below to check out all the things that are coming out. And I'm super excited to see exactly what you make with these items. I'll probably do a live. We'll probably make something together. And then I'll also have videos over on the Pick and Fence Studios uh, YouTube channel and then also my own channel. So. Um, until then, make sure that you guys subscribe, you click that notification bell, uh, send this video out to anyone that you think might be interested, and leave me a comment down below saying what your favorite product was from this release. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!